Okay, now we're going to mount the expansion board on top of the Uno. So this is your expansion board. Let's release the expansion board. Okay, <clears throat> this thing is really awesome. Let's talk about this for a second. So, uh, this is the Iron Weaving Shield. And this thing is great because it breaks out all of the signals that are coming from the Arduino here. You can see the Arduino has these connectors. Um, these connectors have power ground, here's power, there's analog in, and then there's digital uh, general purpose I.O. signals. Well, we could, we could plug it into these, right, and we could do the same thing don't really need this board but this board makes it a lot easier so if you you know if you have six or seven five volt connections somehow you gotta find out how to get all six or seven five volt connections onto this one five volt pin right so what this board does is it breaks that out and it breaks it out in a very sensible manner um, so you can see here we have, starting from the right hand side, we have the Arduino GPIO pins 0 through 13 and a few other things uh, connected to these sets of three pins. And so each GPIO pin also comes with V, voltage, and ground. So all you have to do is plug a three pin connector in there, you get signal, voltage, and ground. And if you look, um, a lot of the sensors have three pins, signal, voltage, and ground. So that makes it really easy to wire things up. So that's why we have this. Uh, it has a few other things. You can reset the Arduino. Um, you can get power. Uh, in fact, you can power, you know, you have one of those nice connectors that you can use to power things. There's LED and... Um, they bring out the uh, serial port here with power and ground. They bring out the I squared C bus uh, with power and ground. So they bring a lot of uh, good uh, connections out. Here's Bluetooth. So the way this works, pretty simple. All we do is we plug this in here. Um, looks like uh, on this board we have some bent pins so we need to straighten those so check for these bent pins first and if you have some straighten those because when we plug this in we want it to we don't want to bend or break any of the pins okay this one here looks like it's a little bent too so we'll straighten that out all right <clears throat> So not all the pins uh, are used, uh, so we're going to write justify this thing um, all the way, and you can so you can see we're skipping some of the pins here, um, and uh, so we'll line that up, make sure that we're not bending any pins, and we'll just push it down like that, and uh, voila, we are good to go. All right. <clears throat> 